Also breaking today, 15 and a half years. That's how long former Subway spokesman Jared Fogel will spend in prison. We brought the judge's decision to you live here on RTV6 and on the RTV6 app. Call 6 Investigates Rafael Sanchez has been following this case since the very beginning, and he joins us live with today's developments. Hey, Candace, good afternoon. Right now, Jared Fogel on his way to a federal facility. He spent six hours in the building behind me. This is the federal courthouse in downtown Indianapolis. He left that block a federal inmate. Despite his tears and his six-minute speech, Jared Fogel got more prison time than the government had requested. Instead of 12 and a half years as the U.S. government wanted, Fogel is looking at more than 15 years in federal prison. Fogel accused of child pornography and having sex with minors. He told the court that he took full responsibility for his actions. He said his life spiraled out of control and he became dependent on alcohol and pornography. Jared Fogel's defense team came in and asked for a five-year prison sentence. We argued strongly against it. Uh, we thought the facts and law uh, justified a much harsher sentence. And ultimately, uh, the judge agreed with us and imposed a sentence of 15 years, eight months. His lawyer requested that Fogel be allowed to serve time at a federal prison in Colorado where he can get help for his problems. A Fogel who walked into the federal courthouse this morning behind me did not walk out. He is now in federal custody. In asking for mercy from the court, uh, Fogel's lawyers told the judge that they believe that it was his weight loss, that massive weight loss that he experienced while being a student at IU that led to his sex addiction. The court did not buy that argument. Candace? Now, Raphael, you were inside as everything happened today. What was it like? It was very tense, it was very emotional, and overall, Candace, it was very graphic. After all, we were talking about 16 young people who were victimized by Jared Fogel, who was now convicted and now who's now been sentenced. And so to hear those details again was just troubling and just unimaginable, if not only for the press, but for the families and the friends who had to sit through that and listen to all that graphic detail. Raphael, thanks so much.